Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 5.16 from the chapter number 5. Okay, the problem is design a sequential circuit with two deep flip flops. We have to use two deep flip flops and we have to design a sequential circuit. Two deep flip flops are A and B and it has one input X in, X underscore in. Now we are given with two conditions. That means we will have two sequential circuit following these two conditions. So in the first condition, we are given that when x in is equal to zero, when the input is zero, the state of the circuit remains the same. Uh, whatever we have at the present state, we will have in the next state also. When we have x in is equal to one, the circuit goes through the state transitions from zero zero to zero one to one zero to one one and back to one zero and repeats. That means Whenever we have present state is 0, 0 and we have input is 1, then the next state will be 0, 1. And when we have 0, 1 as the present state and the input is 1, the next state will be 1, 0. And when we have present state is 1, 0 when, and the input is 1, the next state will be 1, 1. And similarly, when present state is 1, 1 and the input is 1, the next state will be 0, 0. Okay, we have to follow these conditions and we have to design the sequential circuit. Similarly, here also we are given with another similar conditions. So for drawing the sequential circuit, first of all, we have to find out the state table and from the state table, we will find out the state equation and using the state equation, we will design the circuit. Let us solve the first part of the problem. Part A. First of all, we will make the state table. State table. Okay. So here we will have present state. Present state. Then we'll have the input, okay, and we'll have next state, okay. So here we have two flip flops A and B. So here we'll have the present states are A and B. This one is the present state output of flip flop A, and this one is the present state output of the second D flip flop. And the input is X, X underscore in. That is x in is the input. Okay, here we have assumed for simplicity we have assumed to be x and for this present state and input we have to find out the next state. The next state will be denoted by a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1. Okay, present state we have two flip flops outputs. So we'll have eight combinations. So we'll have here 0, 0, 0. So now we have to find out the next state. So as per the con given conditions of part A, when we have x input is 0, the state of the circuit remains the same. That means when we have input is 0, this is also 0, this also 0 and here also 0. Okay, so the next state will be same as this present state. So here we have present state is 0, 0. So the next state will be 0, 0. Then we have input is 1. Okay, so we'll have a transition from 0, 0 to 0, 1. So as per the given condition, we have to transition from 0, 0 to 0, 1. So here we'll have 0, 1. Next we have again 0 input. Next state will be remain the same. So 0, 1 is the present state. So we'll have here 0, 1. Next we have input is 1. So it's from 0, 1 to 1, 0. There will be a transition. So we'll have next state is 1, 0. Okay. And similarly, here also the input is 0. So next state will be the same. So we'll have here 1, 0. Next we have input is 1, so we will have a transition from 1, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. Here input is 0, so the present state will be the next state, so we will have 1, 1 here. Then we have this 1, 1 and the input is 1, okay. So the next state will be 0, 0. Here we can see that from 1, 1 back to 0, 0. Okay, so here we have written from present state 1, 1, it is going to next state 0, 0. Now we have got the state table and from this state table we have to find out the expression for a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 that is we have to find out the expression for the next state okay so for this we have to make the k map therefore k map for a of t plus 1 okay so first of all we will find out the k map for a of t plus 1 so we have a three variable map here okay so a b and x these are the inputs a and b are the present states okay and x is the input 
so for kmf here we'll have 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and 1 so this one is a here we have this one is b and these two columns are x we have to fill up this k map using this a of t plus 1 value so 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 and 0 1 next we have 1 1 1 0 so we can combine like this so this will be one combination the second combination will be this one okay the third one will be the single one therefore we can write a of t plus 1 is equal to so from this term we'll have a b bar from these two column we'll have b bar b bar plus from this combination we'll have it is a and x bar a x bar a x bar plus from this term we'll have a bar b x a bar b x so this is the simplified expression so here we can take a common from the first two terms okay a if we take common we'll have b bar plus x bar okay plus a bar b x okay so b plus b bar plus x bar we can write it as a whole into b x whole bar plus a bar b x so if we assume it to be one variable so we have the form of a b bar plus a bar b so we can write it as a x or b x so this is the expression for a of t plus one now we have to find out the expression for b of t plus one so k map for b of t plus one okay so here we have to make the k map for b of t plus one okay so now we have to put in these values of b of t plus one zero one one zero zero one one zero okay so here we'll have zero one one zero zero one one zero so we can combine like this so we'll have b of t plus one is equal to so from this combination we'll have b bar x b bar x plus from this combination we'll have b x bar so this is nothing but b x or x okay so we have got the expression for the next step outputs so we have to use this expressions a of t plus 1 okay and b of t plus 1 to design the circuit now let us design the circuit in the circuit we have one input x in x underscore in means x suffix in so here we'll have two flip-flops a and b okay two deep flip-flops a and b suppose this one is one flip-flop here we have input is d this is the output q okay and here we'll have q complement okay so this is nothing but the first flip-flop okay so here we'll have this a and here we'll have a complement similarly we'll have another flip-flop that is the second flip-flop this b and here we'll have one input because it is a deep flip-flop we have d and this is the uh, this is the normal output and this is the inverted output q and q complement okay so this will be the b and this is b bar now you have we have to implement this expression so a x or bx 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 first of all we have to find out so this is line b okay if we take so a bx in bx in first of all let us multiply so here we have bx okay so a xor bx we have to now use a xor get and this a will come here okay and here we'll have one xor get okay and this will be the output and here we'll have a xor bx so here we have to draw a clock okay clock signal here also we'll have one clock c l o c k and for the second one we have the expression is b x or x so take a line from x take another line from this one is b line okay so take a line from here you say x or get 
and here we have this b x or x okay so this is the circuit diagram or this is the sequential circuit design for the first part of the problem that is considering the uh, conditions given in part a we have got this circuit in the part b also we are given with similar conditions only the transitions are the different okay so first of all we have to make the state table state table present state and input and next state the present state is a b input is x and the next state is a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 so here also we'll have 8 combinations 0 0 0 so these are the inputs and these are the present states so we have to now find out the next state so as part of the question whenever we have 0 0 present state and input is 1 we have a transition from 0 0 to 1 1 when we have present state is 1 1 and the input is 1 then the next state will be 0 1 okay and when we have present state is 0 1 and the input is 1 the next state will be 1 0 and when we have present state is 1 0 and the input is 1 so it will be back to 0 0 that is the next state will be 0 0 so here we can see that the input is 0 here okay when input is 0 we have the next state is equal to the present state so it will be the same so we have 0 0 so when we have 0 0 and the input is 1 here we have input is 1 and the present state is 0 0 so the next state will be 1 1 so here we will have 1 1 next state here we have input is 0 and the present state is 0 1 so the next state will be same as the present state so we will have 0 1 next we have input is 1 and the present state is 0 1 when we have present state is 0 1 so it will be go to next state 1 0 so 1 0 next we have input is 0 so the next state will be same as the present state so it is 1 0 then we have input is 1 so we have a transition from 1 0 to 1 0 to 0 0 when we have the present state is 1 0 and the input is 1 the next state will be 0 0 okay so it will be 0 0 and this one input is 0 so it will be unsense so it will be 1 1 next we have 1 1 present state and input is 1 1 1 is the present state and input is 1 so we'll have next state is 0 1 okay so we'll have 0 1 okay so we have got the state table now we have to find out the expression for b of t plus 1 and a of t plus 1 so first of all let us make the k map therefore similar process okay k map for a of t plus 1 so here we'll have three variable map 0 1 a b x 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so we have here 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 so we can combine like this so this will be one combination and this is the second combination so a of t plus 1 will be equal to so from this term we will have a bar x a bar x plus from this term we will have it is a x bar a x bar so this is nothing but the xor operation a xor x so we have got the expression for a now let us find out the k map for b of t plus 1 okay so now we will draw the k map for b of t plus 1 so similar k map 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 a b x now we have to put these values of b of t plus 1 so we have 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 okay so 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 okay so we can combine like this this will be the second combination and this is the third combination so we'll have here b of t plus 1 is equal to so from this term we'll have a b a b plus from this combination we'll have b x bar b x bar plus from this one we'll have 
a bar b bar x okay so we have got the expression for a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 now we have to draw the logic circuit so here we'll have two similar gates okay so this is a we have this is the flip flop okay so here we'll have q output and here we'll have q complement this one is a this one is a complement okay here we'll have clock pulse so the second flip flop is this one is b here we have input is d okay and the output is b and complemented out is b complement okay now let us realize this expression a x or x we have input is x so this is the x input and we have an inverter here and here we'll have x complement so this first line represents x and this after this inverter we have x complement here so a of t plus 1 so here we'll have a x or x so take a line from x take a line from a okay you say xor gate and connect it so here we'll have a xor x so we have got a of t plus 1 now b of t plus 1 is a b plus b x bar plus a bar b bar x okay so this is nothing but a line take a line from b take a line from a first of all let us find out a b take a line from a this one is a okay a b we will use a n get and here we will have a b okay next we have b x bar so this is the b line okay so take a line from connection from here b and take a line from x bar okay use a n get and here we will have b x complement okay next we have a bar b bar x so take a line from x take a line from a bar a bar is this one okay take a line from a bar so this line we have drawn here from a bar okay and this one is the x and we have b bar so b bar is this one take a line from b bar okay so this will be the third input so here we'll have a bar b bar x so now we have to add this tree so here we'll have to use a or get the output will be connected to this d input this is nothing but the clock signal okay c l o c k so and and these are the three inputs of this or get okay so this is the circuit diagram for the second part of the problem thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you